Hi, Sloan. Um, you obviously played such an astounding first set. What do you feel like happened in the second and third? Was it an adjustment that Serena made or something that you feel like was going on with your game? Um, yeah, I thought that we played a good match. Um, obviously, she raised her level and she started serving a bit better. Um, yeah, overall, I didn't think I did anything wrong necessarily. Um, tried to stay in the match as best I could, but uh, yeah, she just played better today. What do you kind of take away from this tournament in general, do you think? Uh, I got two good matches in, obviously not playing after five months, a long time off. Uh, difficult to kind of know uh, how you're going to come back. Obviously, Lexington and Cincinnati weren't what I had hoped for, but here just kind of getting some matches under my belt, uh, knowing that I have a few more tournaments left to play. I'm just going to, you know, go out and get after it and hopefully kind of build on this and keep going into Europe. Thanks, Lon. Up next will be Shara from U.S. Open 2020. Shara, you are live. Hi, Sloan. How are you? Hi. Um, and did you see a difference in um, Serena's serve in the second set? And how did you prepare for the third set? Uh, yeah, I thought she raised her level on her serve. I thought she served a lot better. Um, and obviously, she has one of the greatest serves in the game. Um, it's really difficult to read. So, um, yeah, it's definitely something that I thought uh, was a little bit trickier. But uh, just try to get my racket on a lot of the balls and make her play as best I could. Up next, still on the video board, will be Richard from Black Athlete. Richard, you are live with Sloan. Thanks. Sloan, can you talk a little bit about how she upped her level with her serve? What was she doing specifically? And is it something that you've seen before with her serve? Um, I just thought she served better. I just don't know what she did better. She just, and I, I don't know in her mind what she was thinking, but... Um, there were a few more aces, and it was a little bit tougher to read, so um, that made it a bit difficult. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Uh, let's go next to Richard from usopen.org. Richard, you are live. Hi, Sloan. Tough result out there. I wondered if you'd talk for a minute just what you think it might be like for Serena to be chasing this record. Obviously, she gets asked about it all the time. In a way, only she really knows what it's like. But what, what do you think it's like, that burden for Serena to be chasing this number? I think she's the only one that can tell you that. Um, I'm sure it's difficult. But, I mean, we hope she all gets it. So keep going for it. Do you think the pressure gets to her, though? Do you do you see that when you you watch her that that it is a heavy weight for her to carry? I think only she can tell you that. I honestly am not in that position, nor am I anywhere close to it. So I could not tell you what that burden is. And um, like I said, we all hope she gets to it. If she is feeling pressure, I hope that she releases it and gets to twenty four. Thanks, Lon. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much, Sloan.